it's Brianna welcome back to my channel and back to the deep clean with me series thanks so much for watching this episode as well today I don't know if you can see I'm gonna be walking you through how to clean your dishwasher and I'm gonna be using some natural products so this is a natural way to clean your dishwasher if you're looking for something that doesn't have harsh chemicals or isn't using expensive cleaning products. Not that I don't have some that I like, but I just wanna share a really simple, natural way to go about doing this. And I wanna to try to keep doing that throughout this series of just very easy, natural, simple ways to deep clean things around your home. So this is going to be a bit chatty. I'll actually like walk you through step by step so you can truly clean with me if your dishwasher needs a good clean, or even if you don't think your dishwasher needs a cleaning, you can do this anyways because it is very, very simple. So I'm gonna show you the products and tools that you need before we get started with cleaning my dishwasher. Here are all the items. I've got them laid out for you. You need a dishwasher safe bowl. I just so happen to also have a smaller one that's also dishwasher safe. You'll need white vinegar. You will need baking soda. You will need some sort of a sponge. My preference though is the one that I have from Grove Collaborative with the replaceable um, walnut scrubber on the top of it. I love using the handle. I just think it gives me more control so I can do a better clean. And I'm gonna have my gloves on hand because I might be using some hot water at the end of this just to protect my skin. And you will also need some paper towels for this clean as well. But I'll give you a down and dirty tour of the current state of my dishwasher. You can see around the drain, there's just some scum and stuff that I wanna make sure, ooh, especially there gets cleaned out that's rather nasty looking and also there's a lot of gunk behind this silverware basket the kids really like to help putting their utensils and stuff away and I think sometimes there might still be food stuck on them that just kind of builds up there and is gross nasty can smell pretty bad so I'm gonna show you how to clean your dishwasher with these things so that it's clean and deodorized and smells a lot better if you watch the sink cleaning video, I feel like I just have to get in very awkward angles to sit and actually do these cleans. So that's why I'm like, again, all smushed and crouched down here. But in this bowl, I have a hot water dispenser on my sink. So I just put some very hot water, probably half to three quarters of a cup of hot water in here. And I'm gonna put then just another half cup of vinegar in here. And whether you wanna use your scrubbing sponge or your paper towels, I have both of them here. I just wanna first wipe down any of the gunk that I can remove myself before then I actually am going to run a dish cycle with the vinegar in the bowl sitting on the top rack to do a good thorough clean and let the dishwasher do most of the work. I just kind of wanna make sure I'm doing a good thorough scrub of the gunk that's kind of built up in here right now. And especially I wanna wipe out the drain really well with paper towels to get any of that gunk out. So here we go, I'm just gonna start with my sponge because I think that's gonna be the easiest way for me and I'm not wasting a ton of paper towels and just kind of any place I see build up. Truly the warm water and vinegar, it, it takes it right off. It, it's just getting rid of all that nasty food gunk buildup that smells really bad out of here. And one thing you could do, I mentioned this in my sink clean as well. I'm not like an essential oil person, um, but one thing you can do that I just have read over and over again on Pinterest or some other gals who use essential oils talk about, if you want more of a aroma or scent while you're doing this, you could always add some essential oils as you clean here. And I'm sure that would make it smell really, really good. So again, I don't know if we had a wardrobe malfunction there, so I'm interrupting this programming. I went, I put a take on under this shirt because I'm not trying to have that kind of show here on this channel, but I wanted to continue cleaning. And again, sorry, it just it gets awkward angles, so I, like I'm bending over a bunch. Okay, I wanted to show you kind of closer up because I wasn't even sure from the angle if you could kind of see how this is working, but really just this hot water and vinegar on the sponge there, you can see it just, you know, instantly sort of gets rid of that gross buildup that's all in the dishwasher here. So it will come up, I think, really easily then 
when I grab a paper towel here because I just want to use a paper towel to wipe out the net drain area. And I'm just going to take the rest of this mixture and kind of pour it around there before I wipe this out. Okay, seriously, the most awkward angles ever. I'm gonna take my favorite towels now and just wipe out around the entire drain area first so that when I do run this puppy, you can see there's like, ugh, nasty crud. You wanna get all of that out from around your drain. You don't want any of this gunky stuff gunking up your drain because you want your dishwasher to be able to do its job and run properly. So we're gonna get all of that food and nasty stuff out of here. And as far as like how often should you clean your dishwasher like this, I would say I probably do this once a month. I do not run my dishwasher every day. I'm one of those people that like plays a game to see how fully loaded I can wash my dishwasher before I wash it. So I would say it maybe gets run twice a week, maybe three if we're like super crazy busy in the house eating or something like that. Um, but if you're the type of person that's running your dishwasher every single day, maybe you would want to do it every two weeks. Uh, again, I just feel like it's so that your dishwasher can do its job if you're using it with more frequency you want it to be as cleaned out as you possibly can have it so that this bump doesn't build up and overall then your dishwasher will run better and last you a lot longer if you don't have that nasty buildup in your dishwasher. So I think you can make up your own rules when it comes to how you wanna clean your house and make your space nice, but that's I think what my rule of thumb be is kind of figure out the frequency of if you start to see some nasty buildup, especially around the drain there, maybe you need to be cleaning your dishwasher like this with a little more frequency. Or if you start to notice those funky odors that can happen, maybe start cleaning your dishwasher with a little more frequency. Okay, pop that puppy back in. Last thing I want to do here is scrub the back of this. That's looking pretty gunky and nasty. And you can see like it really is coming right off when I use this vinegar on this sponge with the hot water, which is nice. This actually, I know this opens up too, but okay. I'm just gonna go inside of this with it too. And I'm just gonna set this on, I'm gonna flip it around this way. I'm gonna set this open on the dishwasher rack here so that when I actually clean it out then it'll have like a dishwasher cycle clean with the vinegar as well. Okay, I'll be right back with the next step. <laughs> Awkward crouching position resumed. Um, this is now the easiest part. So that was the hardest part right there. It's just kind of wiping out your dishwasher with the vinegar and hot water. Here's where it's easy. A dishwasher safe bowl. I'm gonna add a cup of vinegar to this bowl. And I'm just eyeballing it. So you can measure it if you want it to be perfect. But cup of vinegar. And you're gonna put this then on your top rack of your dishwasher. So you just wanna set it in there. I'm actually gonna set it to the side um, just so it doesn't completely tip over because when you run the dishwasher then this will kind of do the same slow release that your actual like dishwasher packet section does so i'm going to slowly push this back you want to wash it on the highest setting or highest like temperature setting possible for your dishwasher so i'm going to do the one hour wash high temp wash and I will see you back here, it's one hour, so I will see you back here in one hour. All right, it has been one hour, so this is the next step in the deep cleaning your washing machine process. The camera might fog up, there's a lot of steam coming out of here. So now that that cycle has ran, I'm just gonna pull this bottom drawer out, grab my baking soda here, and I'm just gonna sprinkle the baking soda on the bottom 
and I'm going to do a, another run of this on that high temp rinse and that will help deodorize everything and leave the dishwasher nice and sparkly and clean. Okay, so one hour wash. I'm going to do high temp wash. Ooh, now we're steaming up. And see you in an hour. Sorry for the dishwasher background noise, but I just wanted to share one other cleaning hack that I personally love, and if you've watched my other cleaning videos, you've probably seen me use this. So if you're looking for a good way to clean your stainless steel appliances, I am obsessed with the scent of the Method Mint Glass and Surface Cleaner. Again, this is something like it's ammonia free, it's plant-based power green technology is what it says on the bottle. And I just really enjoy the mint scent and it keeps my stainless steel looking very streak free. But if you are looking for an all natural way to clean your stainless steel, you can also use the white vinegar for that and paper towels or one of the things, if you're looking to be even more environmentally conscious, you can use old newspaper and that really helps absorb whether it's vinegar or the Method Mint and Glass Cleaner and keep everything nice and streak free. So just wanted to share that cleaning hack. And voila, now it's sparkling clean. All right, so it has been an hour and we're probably gonna get a little steamy here. Oh yeah, hot and steamy here. But you can see this is all nice and clean. Yay, I'm actually gonna just put this back. But you can see, I mean, that was so crusted with gunk. It's so nice that, that that is gone. And let's take a peek. Look at how much cleaner the inside of that is where the drain is. And oh, I've just got a bowl of water here now that I'm gonna dump in to the sink. Whew, there we go. But yay, the dishwasher is all nice and clean. Smell check, it actually smells so fresh and amazing. Like it has not smelled that clean in a long time. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this how to deep clean your dishwasher. Again, it's part of a deep clean with me series on my channel. So make sure you click that red subscribe button if you're new here and have your bell notifications turned on so you know the next time that I post a deep clean with me video. And if you have any requests or things you would like to deep clean with me, leave those in the comments down below. Also, if you would like to rock a cleaning queen shirt while you clean with me, I have a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. If you would like to support my channel and my Etsy shop, I greatly appreciate it. And I love seeing you guys wearing your cleaning queen shirts when you tag me on your socials. All right, I will see you in my next video. Happy cleaning. Bye loves.